Uh, it's very unfair you know, to have a truck driver have to pay back a loan for somebody that got like a PhD in gender studies. That's not fair. That's not right. What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, this is a strong uh, debate right here. I just want to give a quick disclaimer. You know, when it comes to our tax dollars uh, going to people in America, I 1000% rather the money go to Americans than to be spent somewhere else in a foreign country, 1000%. But if we are just comparing apples to apples, you know, what are your thoughts about this here? Um, Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, uh, doesn't believe that truck drivers' uh, tax dollars should go to pay for someone that studied uh, gender studies for eight years. You know, he thinks that's not fair, and he thinks that the people that should uh, pay for this is actually the universities. You know, the universities have been ripping people off all these years, and when you come out with a random major and you're not making money, you know, that should be the fault of the university uh, you know, Ron DeSantis says, uh, what are your thoughts about this right here? Um, definitely, I know, a very, very big debate on this, but Mother Truckers, comment down below. Uh, it's very unfair, you know, to have a truck driver have to pay back a loan for somebody that got like a PhD in gender studies. That's not fair. That's not right. <laughs> And so, um, and then you also just have the fact, like, if you're going to talk about debt, then you should look at, okay, who has benefited the most from all this exorbitant debt that's been taken out over the last generation? It's the universities. They have bloated administrative budgets. They have all this, although in Florida, since I've been governor, no tuition increases at our state universities. We haven't allowed that. Because all it does... All it does is they plow it in and they will, they will expand like the DEI office or something else like that. And it has no real impact on the quality of the education when they're raising the tuition. It just creates more administrative bloat. And that's been going on. And the colleges and universities have gotten a free ride at this. So, you know, my view is, is you know, if you're going to do some type of student loan, you know, uh, relief, it's not really relief because people are still paying for it. But the people that should pay for it are not the American taxpayers. It should be the universities should be responsible uh, for that. If they're producing people, they went deep into debt and their degree is not worth anything and they're not able to make enough money to pay it back. Uh, well, then that's on them, and they've had an incentive to get more and more loans taken out and then put it in their pocket. So we should look at these universities, but what Biden is doing, uh, it, it's going to cause more inflation, which is what you just had one of Obama's economists come out and say, this is the worst time to do this. It's going to fuel inflation. This is not good policy. Obviously, the fairness and all that uh, is very important, uh, but it's not a good uh, fiscal or monetary policy. Um, and so, so you see that. But then you also have the fact that they're doing that with zero reform to the universities and the loans and everything that's happened that's clearly way, way out of whack. Uh, so and then, you know, I think this is still important. Some people uh, uh, may not care as much. He does not have the constitutional authority to do this. He is. 